Hey everybody, Crazy Chris here at MTV Crank Attic and I'm doing another ride here. I just wanted to get some video. I want to put some video out for you guys. Some good content of some good trails that I do and this is one of them. Horsetown uh, Clear Creek Preserve. Uh, it's a small little loop. There is a uh, black diamond initially and then some single track along the ridge. You climb up to uh, Clover Dale Trailhead and then up there there's a small little loop that you can do numerous times uh, not much climbing just you can do it numerous times with uh, uh, it's like going to the track and doing like numerous laps around the track and so I try to do like four laps up there and then I'll uh, check out the Vista points they got some bitchin views up here above the creek you're like 250 300 feet above the creek and it's just some good good little spots to sit have lunch um, and chill with the family maybe you're on a hike and then I go back to the ridge trail and I bomb that down to the initial black diamond area and back to the car and maybe I'll get a KOM on Strava we'll see last time I did it I was number 10 and I wasn't even trying so and not too many people come out here and ride these trails because they're way outskirts um, of from Reading it's kind of out of the way I think uh, locally uh, but it is local um, so I hope you like the trail if you do give it a thumbs up please subscribe and share it with your friends uh, share it on Facebook um, I'm on Facebook Instagram Twitter so hey this is crazy Chris and I'm out of here here we go guys so in this video guys I'm revisiting a place called Horsetown, like I said in the intro, and um, it's a small little loop area. It's got some gorgeous views. There's two vista points where they have a picnic bench where you can just chill. Um, you can hike, you can bike. Um, it's just a nice place to relax and just have uh, chill time. So this first trail we're going to attack is a black diamond. It's called Pieta Loop connector trail that per trail for it so that's the name of the trail and uh, you ride up it or you ride down it and it's very short and it takes you up to the Pieta loop where it takes you to those gorgeous vista points Now this very first part is a black diamond. It's short, it's not that long. This very first part right there, this initial part, it's like 200 feet and it's straight up in this really big ditch at the top that is really hard to negotiate and take the right line. Uh, this is the fourth time that I did it and I did it without stopping. Um, and then it levels off and then you come to some more steep part and you know, it gets rocky and it's challenging. Yeah. I start at Horsetown. Uh, reasoning is because four times the charm, brother. Short black diamond Sick. climb initially, and it challenges the best of us. And I love that challenge. And I haven't made it up once without yeah. stopping and putting my foot down. So I'm really trying for that one time where I can make it all the way up. So prepare yourself for a steep little climb initially. Once you get done with this steep climb, though, you have uh, the Pieta Loop option up there, and it's a blue trail. And I take it to the right initially because of the direction I'm going because it has the vista points over there and it has the picnic benches and you're 600 feet up above the creek you've got gorgeous views you see the you see the vultures or whatever uh, flying above um, catch them on a clear day rest relax have lunch take some pictures it's gorgeous little stop. After resting in rocks and taking the pictures and enjoying the view, I head over to Cloverdale Trailhead and uh, the trails are well signed um, so you can't get lost. If you have a smartphone, download the Trail Forks app and you'll never get lost. So anyways, I like to go over to this 
uh, the Cloverdale Trailhead. And a Cloverdale Loop, it's a loop, and it's short, but it's fun. <laughs> and the initial part is downhill. And it's downhill for like, I don't know, a mile and a half. And in this mile and a half, you got three turns, I think it is. Maybe four turns, but it's really fun. And it challenges you to see how fast you can go around these turns, pitching your bike, without the assistance of some berm or whatever. These are yeah. just a trail. It's just single track, and it's just you, the bike, on the single track. And you're pitching it around these turns, and you can go quite That's fast. pretty awesome. After I'm done doing that... Cloverdale loop a bunch of times. I'll tire myself out and I'll go back up to the Pieta loop trail and I'll ride that high ridge of the Pieta loop down. Whenever to the I Black climb, guys, that I initially went up at the beginning of the, the first day. stage of and climbing for that me. That will give me my KOM. That's where it's acclimated. It's segged out. And, Myself. Um, I didn't realize to that riding until I, you know, uploaded my again. Strava one day after riding that. And I've only done Cloverdale three times. And uh, I Open was up those lungs. I was ranked 10th. Now I think I'm ranked see? second or third. Beautiful views. By three seconds. So it's, the uh, creek. It's, not, it's so funny. Right there. I'm not a person of a KOM, so I just, it's so funny how I can get it.